Once again to Heroes at Large. Real quick, we want to do a shout out to a couple comments we got on our first episode to Eric. Eric, thank you very much for the uh, congratulatories that you gave us. Uh, you and your entire family, we appreciate that very much. And Stefan, thank you very much for your comment. Let's do roll call, heroes. Go ahead. Drewski here. Badass James Dynamite. And I am Avaz. So, um... What are we going to talk about today, kids? Well, first off, we have to say a shout out to our sponsor, right. Wakanda and Travels. Feel free to travel to the wonderful land of Wakanda, the mysterious land of Wakanda, and visit the Vibranium Mines. So if you're in wherever it's supposed to be, because it's a mystery, feel free to contact Wakanda and Travels. Luxury Suites. Are they doing any kind of discounts or... Uh... No, uh, with the movie coming out, they're trying to drum up, uh, drum up as much money as they can. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, they're probably jam packed. Yeah, ultra packed. No more, just VIP. <laughs> so, um, we want to talk about first Deadpool two trailer. Yeah, we can do trailers right now. That'll yeah. be awesome. All the trailers, yes. every single one. Yeah, Super Bowl so, just happened. Super Bowl just happened. So we got so. a whole bunch of trailers, and I'm surprised that one didn't make it to the Super Bowl. I wonder if they purposely did that. Well, awesome. I heard it was going to come out well, on Valentine's Day, so I was excited that they released it a whole week early. Who's to say we can't see anything on Valentine's Day, though? That's true. It's very true. Yeah. But as as we get closer, I think, to the actual movie, we'll probably get a lot of different things from Ryan Reynolds, because last year, or when yeah, the, no, the Deadpool movie first came out, Ryan Reynolds was doing a lot of little... The marketing know, on that was great. Even He even did one on testicular cancer. Right, right. Yeah. You know, which he was, was putting stuff that. out left and right. Yeah, <laughs> but which, it, which is part of why we didn't get to see this trailer for Super Bowl, because there was cursing in this trailer. Yeah. So, which... Well, well he had Kevin Hart cursed, too, so... He did? You guys didn't see that? He cursed at the Super Bowl? No. At the very oh, end. wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that was, that. That, was, that was live TV. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. When they were presenting the trophy. Did he put the mic down and walked away? Yeah. But the Deadpool 2 trailer, uh, what do you guys think of Cable? I like the green arm. <laughs> um, I'm hoping it stays in there. Uh, I just wish he would have had a mustache. <laughs> right, More than anything, yeah. Cool. Well, maybe we'll mustache, mustache on his arm? Maybe they'll bring that in, CGI. Yeah. Mustache on the arm would be great. He just put his <laughs> forearm across his face and you could see the mustache. Uh, no, it was good. The, the thing about, I want to know how much of it is Ryan Reynolds' ideas right. and how much of it is his studio ideas. Uh, because of the simple the, fact the that writers. It, yeah, because I mean yeah. it's hilarious. But Ryan Reynolds is hilarious, you know, on his own. Right. So I'm wondering, like me, Deadpool. Does he really come up with this stuff, or is it writers, or is it a combination of both? How much is him? How much is the writers? But the market on it is great, and they have captured Deadpool. Um, really yeah, and it, it, yeah. I was thinking that same thing because uh, when they dropped that that uh, movie poster, you know, with the, the flash dance. Style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, does he just like one day say, you know, I'm gonna take some pictures in my Deadpool outfit and calls up a photographer and just does it? Well, his, well, Twitter, his Twitter's mean? pretty funny. It could be. He yeah, could be I mean, up with a lot of. I'm sure they kind of give him free. They kind of maybe put like a whole concept like, here's what we want the movie to be like. Go ahead. Yeah. Do whatever you want because I mean, he did do a shout out to one of the guys from uh, one of the boy bands. I'm trying to remember One Direction. It will, and on, it was, it's on his Twitter. He sent oh, out a okay. shout out to him for his birthday, and uh -huh. he's like, "I'm sorry about popping out of the cake, you know, but kudos to your security for tackling me so fast." Right. So it's like little <laughs> things like that that you know makes it so funny. And it's I, like again, I want to know if that's his how genius, much of it is him, and how much is the writers marketing? Yeah. yeah. But I mean, the last movie did well as far as that goes. Even the pre the prequel with Stan Lee. Yeah. Uh, when he's trying to change oh, in the yeah. phone booth. Right. That you know, good. and then like was he, hilarious. he spent so much time trying to change the guy died. Yeah, he made a call. <laughs> yeah, did he make a call too? Yeah, that phone? was hilarious. <laughs> that was so good. You see pressed hams on the on the glass. And that kind of came out of nowhere too, huh? Yeah, it, it was did. just like yeah. I know that we're announcing it, but it was we're right before knew. Logan, right? 
That's what right. they did because it was Logan on the on the um, on the prompter in the in the at the movie theater. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Thing. And yeah. just the fact that you now you're getting Stan Lee to cameo in your commercials, mm -hmm. you know that was great. Uh, but warning to you guys out there: uh, remember, Deadpool's not necessarily for kids. Take them anyway. So uh, <laughs> rental guidance is suggested. Uh, what other what other trailers did we get to see? Um, I know Han Solo. Yes, Han that one Solo. looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, how do you guys feel about Trigger that? Are you excited for that movie? I was this trailer hoping, to make it feel. I was personally hoping for an Obi Wan Kenobi. Prequel that is movie. a rumor that right. he might be in this. No, one. I know, but I was hoping for that before Han Solo. I always liked Obi Wan more than Han Solo. I always thought Obi Wan was the best Jedi because he killed Darth Maul. He killed Darth Vader. I mean, well, he was Anakin. One yeah. of my, I mean, what? Well, yeah, he killed Anakin. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he killed Anakin so Darth Vader could be born. Did you, you know hear, what I mean? Did you hear that Mark Hamill? Uh, they they did a couple uh, testings, and he was the only one that knew. It was like George Lucas and him knew about the real ending about the, the I'm your father bit. The original was going to be that like Obi-Wan is the one who killed your father. Right. And then they're like, oh my God, this is like a huge revelation. Yeah, because George Lucas, I guess right before they, or right after he filmed that that spot, he pulled uh, Mark Hamill to the side. Just kind of like, we're going to do it this way. This is, what's, this is what he's actually saying to you. Yeah, but Mark yeah, Hamill was all freaked out. And he was, yeah, and then that's when he's all like, quiet this is for real? Yeah. And Harrison Ford started to tell him, like, how come you didn't tell me this? And yeah. But, like, I couldn't. Yeah. But, you know, that, that you know, you're right. That, that would have been a good movie to see. I, hopefully that's something in the works. I know that that was rumored. I really hope so. Well, yeah, it's rumored right now that they you still might be able to, they might bring in uh, Obi-Wan uh, into the solo movie. Because the timing and everything will be about the right right time. So, I mean, it could work. And then, cool. wasn't there also a rumor where we'll see Darth Vader in there too? Um, I don't think he'd be Vader at that point because they're him and Luke are about the same age. If you think yeah, about he it, would be, he would then he'd be Darth Vader, Vader because yeah. he was Vader, well, yeah, he was Vader right. when Luke was born. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. So, yeah, because I could have sworn I heard a rumor that there was but, but, Darth what Vader a might movie. be in it. Does a movie really need Darth Vader? It doesn't, but we don't we don't get very much. I mean, if you go back and watch Empire Strikes Back, well, the, lightsab the lightsaber battle is is is. I mean, it depends uh, they, how you look at it. I mean, if does I think, Rogue One work really well without Darth Vader? Well, Darth the reason Vader. it worked is because it tied into it. <laughs> sure, but this is just like so we don't know. It per ties so we don't know how this movie is going to go and whether or not it would actually tie into it. That's true. My biggest grief is the fact that it's a universe is enormous. Right. For all these events to be like, hey, by the way, I know this guy from such and such planet. I'm like, what are the chances yeah. of that actually happening? Well, Star okay, Wars. but this is this is the Star Wars storyline that revolves around the Skywalkers. Um, you have to remember too, because they're going to start a whole other series of movies later on after, you know, Episode Nine. Well, the thing is, well, there are things that I want to see happen in this movie. The uh, Han Solo, you know, rising in a way. Right. Uh, the issue that he has with uh, with uh, Boba. Yeah. See, I don't uh, think, does he have an issue with Boba? Or is it well, he's a bounty he hunter, hunter but, they, but, they, but they know of each other, as far as I know. And also, you want to see... I kind of want to see the issue that he has with Jabba. There's he does, because Jabba the if you go back to the, to the redo of uh, A New Hope, where Han Solo's talking to Jabba... Boba's there. Boba's there. Uh -huh. so, well, but I thought because he's, he's Jabba's main hitman, though. Right. So apparently Han Solo's known. Throughout um, the galaxy. Yeah. He, and he, he knows who Boba Fett is. So we have no idea. Like, they must know, have run into each other. the criminals of the galaxy, though, because a lot of times most, most Star Wars characters don't really know who he is. Really? Unless, unless he's going underground, unless he's going to like Jabba's lair. Then they're kind of like, oh, Solo. Well, it depends how you look at it. Because aren't, aren't they trying to say, too, that like, after episode eight, um, that now everybody hears about everybody's going to hear about what Luke Skywalker did. Well, I mean, obviously, you know, that the word just spreads throughout the galaxy like wildfire. It could, you it know. Could. And I, I don't know if you guys noticed also in the trailer the little dice that oh, Luke, yeah. Luke had it was actually on the little speeder that he was on, and I think yeah on the Falcon as well. Yeah. So I'm glad they actually put that that way. Yeah, they're going to be putting. So that's an interesting point because in this Han Solo movie. <clears throat> Um, there's probably going to be a lot of small details all over the place. Yeah. You know, that you, you can just yeah, look out for and stuff. Well, It'll be kind of cool to the, see. But Rogue One, you know, you saw those two bandits that they ran into the cantina that right. had his yeah, arm yeah. cut off. You see them walking right. around. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm, everyone's going to be looking for those, like, little Easter eggs. Yeah, that's going to be cool I think stuff. one thing that's going to be interesting, too, to see is what they do with Han Solo's character. Because at the beginning of A New Hope, he was really he was really a greedy kind of, you know, look out for myself or just, right. just me. So, and it looks like in this one, he's going to have a team. 
So is his team going to die and he's going to become that kind of cold? And, and it's interesting you bring that up because I, I have a feeling what this movie's going to do is it's going to kind of uh, show you what he's, he's gone through, how, how he was raised, you know, whatever caused him to, to, to mm -hmm. turn to a life of crime, you know, possibly that he was raised by himself or whatever, alone. Um, and then he eventually does, you know, create a team and, and get friends. And then something happens Someone's where, stab him in the back yeah, and, and that's where he's he, like, after now, it's just think, me. I'm on my own from now on. And I don't, I don't think he's nobody. creating a team. I think he's going to be part of That's what it looked team. like. Someone hired him. Yeah. yeah. So, so, I mean, maybe he also, stabs him in the back. And he gets the relationship between him and Chewbacca, the beginnings of that, that'd right. be pretty cool to and see. And it could be that where that's, Chewbacca is the only guy that he ends up trusting. You know, and that's why he's always with Chewbacca in every other movie. Just yeah, yeah, you can't so, have one without the other. I think know, that's what this movie's going to do. I think this movie's just going to set up, you know, what kind of person he becomes, or, or why he becomes, you know, the the greedy smuggler that, you know, he that was in the know, New Hope. Yeah. yeah, well, we're going to just wait and see pretty much what happens. I mean, but I it does look interesting. A lot of, lot of, lot of flying, a lot of space. Yeah, lot yeah. Of, it looks a lot really of piloting, run. which is going to be great. It looks really good. It's I've awesome. only heard one person complain about it. Uh, and the only complaint that they actually had is they wished it would have done a CG Harrison Ford. Really? What? Yeah, there's only one. Refer that over to a young actor? Yeah, I mean, it would make sense to have a young actor, but I mean, I mean, CG, even though they have Disney bucks, I mean, right. they do a great job, but no, I really don't want to do CG. No, I think when it comes to new movies, you can't, you can't depend yeah. on CG yeah, you so can't. much. You know, you I mean, know, I'm good, I'm good with a little, a few CG characters, maybe. No, I agree, there, I agree, like what they did with Leia and Rogue, yeah, you know. Right. So it's kind of like they're like, why didn't they use a CG Harrison? I'm like, are you kidding me? Really? Oh, that let's, let's move past. Let let someone else, you know, yeah. be Han Solo. Exactly. If it's just for the movie, then <laughs> yeah. Be... Well, my my thing that I'm still kind of holding out on though is whether or not this guy is going to be able to embody what um, Harrison Blair's, Ford did for yeah. Han Solo, and because in this in this teaser trailer, he only talks a little bit. Yeah, they don't show very you much. You know, and so I'm still kind of like, I don't know if if he's got it down. I don't know if that's really him or not. So I really, I don't think I'll know whether or not I, I really think he nails it until the movie comes out. And I think that's what they're going to do is the fact that, you know, we've said this before. Don't yeah. base a whole opinion on a trailer. Right. Yeah, you know? definitely. You know, because everything's taken out of context and cut up. But uh, another one of the trailers that we did notice during Super Bowl was, uh, was it Super Bowl? The, no Which one? one? Uh, Cloverfield. Yeah, Cloverfield. Oh, like Cloverfield. During the Air Super Bowl, Dogs. yeah, they dropped... There's there's been rumors that there were going to be another movie, um, several movies in this and that, but there's no been no release dates or anything like that. But during Super Bowl, they just Netflix just dropped. After the Super Bowl, you can watch Cloverfield Paradox, you know, on Netflix, and it won't be available until right after the Super Bowl. Um, for any of you guys that are fans out there, or for any of you that haven't seen any of the Cloverfield, or maybe just the first one, mm -hmm. uh, it, it seems like these movies are going to be like uh, solo movies. They have a small connection uh, with the first one. This Cloverfield Paradox has supposedly got some answers as to what exactly is going on. Um, a lot of... Have any of you guys seen it? I've seen it. Okay. Yeah. I've seen it. Personally, I've never watched Cloverfield, the original one. And don't hold it against me, but the reason I didn't was because of the Blair Witch Project. Because of the shaky right. cam. Yeah. And it's, it's a hard thing to get past, though. Really, it really is. It is. If you watch Cloverfield Lane, that's a movie, and then you go back and you watch the first Cloverfield, and you're like, whoa. Yeah. Ten yeah. So, I mean, that's one of the reasons. I watched uh, the uh, Blair, the original Blair Witch uh -huh. in theaters, and that was the only movie I had to close my eyes because it was making me nauseous. I was right. getting motion sickness. I'm glad they stopped doing that. That was yeah. like a fad for a little bit. For a little bit. I was so bit. tired of that. Yeah, wow. so, we, we went to, I went to see it at the theater, and, and yeah, like 20 minutes in, I was just like, oh my God, is this a roller coaster? I was like... Exactly. I had to like close my eyes a couple of times, just look down at the ground. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's one of the reasons I didn't watch the original one. And then for Cloverfield Lane, I just felt like, well, maybe it ties into the first one, so I, get it, yeah. I won't be able to understand it. But now yeah. everyone's telling me, like, oh, they're not really connected. They kind of are. So I might try and get into, like, watching the first one. And luckily now I got a home. I could pause it if I ever get yeah. motion sickness or whatever right. the case is. But um, I want to give it a shot and see what happens. Maybe well, I'll give you guys an update and let you guys know what I thought of it all together, watching it fresh from New Pair of Eyes. Have you yeah. seen it, Drewski? I seen the first one. I liked it. I didn't love it. Uh, I thought the monster was cool. I wish there was more of it. Right. Um, that's why I was kind of into the Cloverfield Lane. And the reason I didn't watch Cloverfield Lane was someone told me that it's not really 
it's not really about the monster. What I wanted was kind of answers about the monster. That's what that's right. the whole thing that I liked about the first one was okay, where did it come from? What's going on? So I didn't really watch the second one, but I've heard it's good. So I might I might catch. It. I think it's on Hulu, so I'll probably watch that. Yeah, the weird thing about it is, uh, like I said, the second one was is is a kind of like a standalone movie, and it really only has a connection at the very very end. Yeah. Um, it's a really great movie though. If you kind of just look at it as, as a separate movie, um, and then the same thing with the with the Cloverfield Paradox, it's kind of like a separate movie too. It does tie in it quite like a bit here and there. Space. Yeah, it, it's supposed to have something to do with you know why there's monsters and aliens and everything attacking Earth, hmm. um, and there's alternate universes and. The rumors that I've been hearing is that they possibly want to do like seven movies, oh, and they're wow. all going to be like different stories that are all going to tie in eventually. So I'm, just, I'm just curious yeah. to see, like, yeah, I'm just curious to see, like, how are they eventually going to tie this stuff in? Yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Well, I think that's going to be part of the fun, especially if you're a huge fan of the genre. Right. I mean, I am. I'm appreciating that they're not going to do all shake cam like the original one yeah, was. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. So I mean. The found footage stuff is just too much. If they're going to do little bits and pieces, I right. get it. But the whole movie that way is not good. But we'll give it a shot. Well, and I mean, it'd be cool if all these movies maybe led up to Cloverfield, which is how the footage got found. Oh, yeah. yeah I and think that could be interesting. And that's what I'm kind of hoping that that's what... I'm hoping that each movie has some kind of connection that they have to tell these separate stories first before they tell like the main where story it came from. Well, I forgot where cuz it looks on. like in the um if you go back and you watch the first Cloverfield movie while they're at the fair I think it's the very very end while they're at the fair you see something fall from the sky and land in the water and that's the big debate right. about the first Cloverfield is oh well it came from space oh no it came out of the that was it coming out of the water so maybe it'd be cool if like like I said if, if these other movies you said are going to do 7 it'd be really cool if they all led up to the monster kind of coming to earth and then Dude, Starting I'm gonna have to go back and watch that again because if, if you will, something, yeah, I, if something you did, about if that. something did fall out, because I do remember them get reaching the water and something coming out. No, it, 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 it was it was it was the guy and the girl because it was their whole right. The, the camera was kind of like their their like wedding anniversary or whatever. So it starts off there at the fair, blah blah yeah. blah, and then it's and then it's the movie, and then at the very end it kind of finishes the thing, and they're at the fair on on the Ferris wheel. And he says, "Give me a big smile," and it, show, it shows her smiling at him, but then in the back, really really tiny, really minute, you see something just fall, fly and splash into the ocean, and the last thing you hear someone go, "Oh, what was that?" and then. It kind of cuts away. See, and the reason why I, the reason why I say is I have to go back and see that is because if that's true, that connects with this paradox movie. Oh, yeah, see, so see, now so. I'm like, okay, oh my god, I gotta go watch see, it. So you gotta, oh you gotta kind of piece the movies together. <laughs> well, so, another, somebody else had brought up a watching. point where it's kind of like, okay, this is these people filming it. Yeah, but right. you're in a city with technology, so it's kind of like, are you gonna get other people's perspective of? Down this street, street down views, that street, yeah, like you know what's going cams, on? Cool. Other people's well, see, stories. See, yeah, there's, there's. Okay, spoilers. So, like in this latest movie, spoilers. They 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 do break into like a they, they do an experiment and they kind of bust through the um, uh, alternate universe and so there's there's all kinds of different stuff that's going on. It's a really freaky movie. Um, so that's why like it it could be that this is their explanation as to like how stuff is invading Earth. It could be that maybe we're watching different universes. We don't even know which universe we're watching during which film. That's I mean, true. there's a lot. This movie left me with a lot more questions. Is it like answers. a horror? It looks very horror-y. It's, so it's kind of not like horror. Said, horror? Horry or horror Horrorish. 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 <laughs> not horrorish. Yeah. Look, look it up. <laughs> look it up. Horrorish. But it's uh, it's not. It's more a thriller to me. Okay. You know what I mean? This this movie's actually got more kind of like an alien type feel to it. Because that goes back to the space. debate of last time. Yeah. Suspense versus horror. I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. kind I don't of suspense, about suspenseful. Scary in space. I was traumatized after Event Horizon. That was a big traumatizing <laughs> scary space movie for me. So I guess I'm going to have to watch this one. Give it a shot. But yeah, I think, I think if anything, maybe go back and at least watch the second one and see what you yeah. think. Yeah. Because the second one kind of well, changed my mind, really. I gotta probably watch all of them. Just so I'm gonna start watching number one, and then Lane, and then go from there. Yeah, because you don't want to get left out. Yeah. But another uh, trailer that actually came up um, today was. Oh yeah, Ninja- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Ninja uh, Turtle. added to uh, Injustice. Ooh. Uh, I was a lot of gamers out there. I was curious to see how they were gonna make it work, but from based on this trailer, and they usually release it around. The 14th, 15th of the yeah. month. I mean, that's how the dealer deals with the other work, but uh, man, that looks super oh, good. Oh, it looks so good. 
That they kept so the good. turtles really well. I like that Michelangelo has a skateboard. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm hitting him in the face with it. <laughs> it doesn't look retarded or anything. It doesn't even look cartoonish. Yeah, it this, this looks so it looks legit. Like it fits very well. It looks so very legit. well to the Better, better yeah. than the Megan Fox movies that she was in. You know? I'm <laughs> like, wow, these look like turtles. People are going to be like, these are the turtles I grew up with. Yes. These are turtles that I, I want to see. These are the turtles I want to play in the game. And yes. just the fact that the finishing movie is a shell shock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Pizza. Yeah. yeah, big slice Finish of pizza, slice slam of into pizza. the slam it into the into the, the you can't monitor. Beat that. You can't beat that. There's so much nostalgia. So, and you watch how that they fight. Each one kind of has their own style, which is kind of reminiscent of the show itself too. Yeah, it was. It's really, really good. But now, even, and I was even saying that the voices even sound. Yeah, they were good. You know, yeah, like it was close to the original movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now. The dark side. Yeah, it's disappointing to see such great <laughs> turtles when you see what what Nickelodeon came out with. I'm sorry, Nickelodeon's I'm new turtles I'm uh, show. The uh, I think it's Rise of the of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think it's called. Yeah, I can't. Uh, they changed a couple things. Yeah, uh, a couple. <laughs> they changed see. everything. They changed the formula. Yeah. Raphael is now the new leader of the team, and he has like, Tompas. Tomfas or Billy like police clubs. batons yeah. and uh, no more size and then uh, what is it uh, Michelangelo is the youngest he's the kid and he does he's not have like nunchucks, any nunchucks anymore and uh, Donatello has traded his staff for a staff <laughs> skip the staff <laughs> and then like uh, Le Le Leonardo he's, he's kind of in the background there he's, he's cool he, but he's he's supposedly the awesomest of them all so uh I don't know. And every turtle is like, according to them, like they have Raphael. He's like a tank, and everyone else is right. like really, yeah, they really all look small, small scrawny, and, yeah. kind of, and he's like this giant Bane-looking dude. And you know, for some reason, they're just trying to make him look really young. I mean, almost like well, they're well, like they're, they're teenagers. Yeah, I get but, it, but like not even teenagers. To me, they look like they're eleven or twelve like, years old. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of like it, it's Raphael, who's a teenager, to Michelangelo, who's right. eleven. Yeah. yeah, and everything in between. Like, there's a 13 year old, a 14 year old, and that's yeah, about it. Just... But uh, I have no problems with the changes to April O'Neil. You know, they changed her up too. Uh, but it looks like they have energy weapons. Yeah, like she's got like a bat or something, like an energy bat. Yeah, mm -hmm. but and yeah, but then the other guys like the same thing with like Leonardo. Looks like he does have a lightsaber. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's a glowing <laughs> sword. Glowing, yeah. So uh, I know a lot of people. Are, you know, grew up with the 80s cartoons or even, like, the movies. Yeah. But is this too much well, of a change? Know, I, know, we, I know we've had this discussion even yeah, last we, week. I think, about I, think they're go the I think they're going for, for something modern for, for today's kids. They're not really caring what the, what the classic and fans it's, And it's weird, too, because for whatever reason, maybe they just need to keep failing and failing and failing until they get it right. Maybe. You know, it's I don't, I don't know what it is. You know but no, because I mean? remember when they did the live, they had the live action... Um, Movies and they try to capitalize on that, right? And made a live action TV, uh, show. TV show with right. a female turtle, right? But they came; she came from another dimension, and it wasn't Shredder; it was an alien. Slicer. Right. Is that what his name? No, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Slicer. I'm like, it could be. I don't know. Sounds like a turtle name, <laughs> right? Uh, but yeah, that was a weird show. On on the cartoons, I don't remember that? Would I you? Mean, would you're like, not. You're not a true fan. <laughs> on the, on the cartoons, would you want to see like some of the classic characters, like you know King Rat? Yeah. Well, or, okay, okay. Well, well, wait. Are we talking about this new version? No, I'm talking about like. Or are we talking about if you to do so, something like the original? This yeah. new version's gonna. They're, if they're if they're gonna go back, they're gonna redo that. But it sounds like what? What do they say? They're I want to see Samurai Rabbit. Yeah, that Samurai would be dope. Would be cool. I want I want to see uh, Baxter as a fly. Yep. Yeah, that would be awesome as well. But you know what? You know why you haven't seen them? I think it's because they they've been coming out with so many different new versions of the yeah. turtles, and none of them seem to last. I mean, the ones that I, I really did like when they did with Bebop and Rocksteady. Yeah, that was pretty good. King. And... Yeah. It looks like the more they the more they kind of do the Ninja Turtles, the more the, they're kind of making them easier to make into toys. Like, okay, so if they all have swords that, if they all have weapons that glow, let's put it in the turtle's hand, and once it touches the hand, it starts glowing or something. I don't know. Yeah. I could see I could see a lot I of toys went, being. I think it went too far when they had transforming turtle toys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mutations. But, was that, mutations. I think that's what they were called. Yeah, mutations, they were mutations. But it wasn't like I'm going to turn from a regular turtle to a humanoid turtle. It was like yeah. I'm going to be a race car and turn into a ninja turtle. <laughs> I'm a turtle, and now I'm a turtle. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it would make more sense like ooze. <laughs> 
Free ooze. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. It's but it's kind of like now. It's kind of like wait. One of them's a, like the the turtle van. I think one of them turned into the turtle van. I don't remember. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh. Don't tell But hope. Let us know if you guys had any of those toys, please, and well, post what, pictures. What I'm hoping for is that the that the what they're gonna do with that Injustice Two is gonna just blow up and people are gonna go nuts for. And then the new series will come out and it'll just be kind of like eh. So hopefully they'll be like okay. So I guess original turtles is what people want. I think what's really That's happening what yeah. is that they're making the original turtles for us. And like you said, Drew. Uh, they're making the next generation turtles for younger kids because yeah. they're not. Because Injustice could, is a mature game. You I could I could watch the original yeah. Ninja Turtles all day, but for a kid, they're probably boring. Yeah, you know, not bright enough. You know that kind of stuff. And now it's a little bit. It looks like it's going to be really lighthearted. Yeah. I, well, I, I don't know, man. I just I think it just depends on how you do it. But then you've got two different companies that are doing this, right? I mean, you've got the what's what's the name of the video game company that does Injustice? Uh, Nether Realm Studios, Netherrealm. right? And so Warner Brothers. They're they're probably big fans of the original, and that's why they went with the original Turtles. Well, it, you know, then you got Nickelodeon that obviously well, is just, it just shooting towards goes kids. back into like certain things, and I hate bringing up Batman because we usually the go to. No, you don't. You love it. I love Batman. I love Batman. <laughs> <laughs> like no, bring him up. Come on. No, but uh, <laughs> Batman the animated series. We're gonna make that. We're gonna make that a, a, a running a game. joke. Yeah. Let's see how many times everybody gets to see how long does it take before, before we, we bring reference. up Batman. Now, have a couple shots ready, and every time we bring up Batman, when it's just to prove a point, take a shot. Now, if you guys make this a drinking game, I promise you, right here now, Drewski will bring up Batman. Just in every discussion. That's just like Batman. Kids, kids, no. kids, get your Kool Aid ready. But what I was what I was saying is Kool-Aid. Batman the animated series, great cartoon. Right. But then it ran its time, and then that's when they came out with the Batman, which they had like a barefoot uh, Joker with with a yeah, and then he fought uh, Dracula for a while. But it wasn't really a Batman that I cared and, about. And, and I get that because but it you know, came for a next if it goes generation. for a while, then eventually it's going to run out of yeah. steam. I get that, and I watched that new Batman. Um, animated no. show, the one with the barefoot Joker. I liked it, but I saw it like years later, you know, and I binged it. And I, after a couple of episodes, I was there like, was some it was really like, good. I was like, episodes. yeah, there was I was like, this is actually pretty really good. good. I just probably it haven't took seen me a those while. Yeah. yeah, it took me a while, but then I got into the first it. few. But there's there's some good episodes in that one. Yeah, it just affected like, oh, okay, here's my Bat Wave, and I have it all over the city. Yay. Yeah, it, and like I said, it takes a couple of episodes and maybe three or four in, and then you're like, and again, this is pretty good. That's that's because it's not. My not, yeah. Batman that I go, I'm pretty sure younger right. kids or even teenagers now, because I mean, the movie's been, I mean, that cartoon's been out for a while, thought like they think it's the greatest thing ever. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I mean, with that new Batman series, the hardest part I had was just that the voices changed. Yeah. You know, so I was used to the voice actors that they had. Because even, even the when animated you read series. the comics today, you can't read it without. Uh, okay, here, Kevin, Kevin Conroy, Conroy. yeah. <laughs> um, so when the new series came out and they even had a different Joker, not Mark Hamill, I'm just like, oh. This hurts my ears. Oh. <laughs> but after, like I said, after a couple of ep- episodes, you know, I was paying more attention to the story than listening to, you know, focusing on the voices and stuff. And I yeah. was actually getting into it. Yeah, I don't think I ran into one of those episodes yet that I was like, oh my God, this is a really, really... Yeah. I think I saw one where Mr. Freeze came back and Batman's been dead for like centuries and the, it was like a myth. It was like in the future. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. There's a Back few of them. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, yeah, I think that's the issue I, the, the, with, uh, with the Turtles right now is that it's not our generation. Our generation's passed and they moved on to mm-hmm. Injustice. And, and here's uh, my question, too. Are the kids that watch it nowadays going to know what Cowabunga is? Yeah. How like many that? of you guys ever use Cowabunga in like a sentence? Hey, no. Ever. Depends. Yeah, I've, I've done like it. A successful... Like, how many, have, have you guys ever done like a radical? Huh. Yes. Really? Yeah. Like because recently? Um, you have to. Recently? Yeah. Well, how recent? Maybe in the past. In the last 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Radical? Sometimes things are radical. Yeah. I, oh, I've used, yeah. I've used yeah. bogus. More like rad. I've, I've said, I've said, <laughs> oh, like a oh. super bitch, but. I like to say itching. I don't like cursing. Uh, it's, in, it's in the dictionary, so it's not cursing if it's in there. <laughs> Uh, but you know, yeah, I mean, Kawabunga. Send parents, send your comments to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wonder Comics. <laughs> oh. uh, no, but it's. I don't know, because if you even think about it, I mean, these the, the words come out, originate from somewhere. And it. It was a server. I don't think, yeah, I mean, there's a reason behind it. And it helps show the character. I think what they'll probably do is go with how. Um, 
April O'Neil in the movie, in the Michael Bay movie, how she kind of had the turtles as pets, and then they became her. Then they grew up and. Do you think they're going to reference that? I think that's what they're going to. Oh, I hope they're probably going to do because because April O'Neil, April O'Neil looks like a teenager now, so a teenager with turtles just seems legit. Mm. And then something happens with the ooze and no, no, no. And, I want the original where the creation of Daredevil and the turtles happened at the same time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. that's that, the original that version of it. Yeah, I know it's the same ooze that, that gave Daredevil his powers. Yeah, so they just mm-hmm. poured into it. It's kind of like give me that. I want to see a kid laying on the ground, holding his eyes, you know, and then the turtles getting covered in ooze. I'll still go back and watch the uh, live action movies. Those are still good. The yeah. first two, I would agree. Yeah. Part three is like. Eh. Well, part three was that like Trouble. we need more money. Yeah, <laughs> like, we're, you know we're, we're, how much more can we squeeze out of the We're tired exactly. of New York. Let's just go back in time. Yeah. So. Jessica Jones, anybody interested in Jessica Jones out there? Um, Did you guys see the first series? The yeah, first series? I, I saw the first. I watched most of it. My, my wife, we like to binge watch stuff together, but she kind of gets way ahead of me. So okay. I kind of, I fell off and she kept going. Uh, yeah, and, and spoiler, just so you guys know, the Jessica Jones series probably, I think, would be more adult-oriented than any of the other, well, maybe not. But they're all pretty um, good. They're all pretty adulty. But I think, I, okay, because you saw the entire series, right? Yeah. Because um, this one gets, to me, this one gets, that one gets dark. It's really dark. You know, I think it's the darkest like one of all of them. And stuff like yeah, that, there is a lot of know? killing and a lot of mention of, like, well, the Purple Man makes people jump off of buildings. And yeah. Right. And then Jessica Jones herself, she's got, like, some serious issues. Issues. She's drinking alcoholism. She goes out with Luke Cage and, quite a few times. Too. Yeah, so I mean, that's what I mean. You know, see, she's and, an alcoholic. Yeah, you're right. But yeah. you see, that's a huge departure. I mean, I'm not I'm not an expert or like say that I know a lot of Jessica Jones. Mm-hmm. The Jessica Jones that I know is right now, again, spoilers if you guys haven't read the comics, is uh, has a kid with Luke Cage and they're married, right? And all that good stuff. Uh, you know, she's a retired hero. She's not doing it anymore, right? And uh, she, I think she's just focusing on being a mom, right? And she's uh, trying to get Luke Cage to stay out of it too. Yeah, but it just but Danny Rand keeps pulling him back in. That and then there's also you know she kind of misses it as well. And right here is like, I don't want to be a hero. I right. didn't ask for this. So stop asking me to be a hero. And I think that's the most annoying thing. I think for me is the fact that any one of us here at this table would say, I have superpowers. You're going to use your superpowers and pretend oh, yeah. like, oh, no, I'm not, I don't want, this is not what I wanted for my life. Right. Like, no, one of, I'm pretty <laughs> sure you're all, right now you're all thinking about what kind of a costume you guys are going to design for yourselves. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking it's about. The same, it's, a, it's the right? same thing as if there was a zombie outbreak. Everybody's kind of like, oh, no zombies, but all the nerds are like low-key excited. Like, they, oh, I, Someone is going to have a, has a special sword or knife. In their uh, their shed or hidden under their bed, sheath. that they're going to achieve with a zombie. Apo- That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's you're, not like you're 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 cracking me up here because I've already got schematics and everything, and I'm exactly. ready to roll as soon as I get the funding. <laughs> <He's got laughs> game plan. Yeah. I've, got, I've got cars. I've got jets. I'm I'm ready. You to go. have no jets. But <laughs> I, got, I got schematics. You had, you I got schematics. You had me at schematics. Model airplanes. Lego <laughs> jets don't count. <laughs> since I hit that lotto, but uh, saving but, the world. That's exactly my point. Is that this show is made for comic book nerds or just sci-fi nerds. And everyone knows it's kind of like if you get bit by radioactive Sharpay or radioactive, you <laughs> know, it whatever it is, you are Earth going worm. to a become a hero. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture your, like your hair just blowing up. You wake <laughs> up the next morning. <laughs> Try to put your glasses on like Peter Park. <laughs> That's already happened. But you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I love it. Well, you see what I'm saying? It's kind of like, it doesn't matter. You're going to have powers. You're going to want to use them. Yes. So Jessica Jones, stop being mopey about like, oh, I'm inv- okay, I'm yeah, super but, strong. But but that's kind of like the cool thing that I like about her. Is that's it, her is character it, conflict. That's yeah, that's it. the character conflict in there. And character that, conflict. That's why that series is so dark is because she's, you, you got somebody that actually had superpowers and they got, those powers got abused by somebody else and you felt powerless. You know, that's how she felt. Yeah, now she but, struggles with... You know, trying to be isolated because she doesn't want to hurt anybody again because she's afraid somebody's going to take over I mean, you know, her, her powers again. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, true. Uh, that's, true. that's what I liked about the first season. The second season, from the trailer, it looks like it's going to be more uh, focused on out. detective. I think it's going to be focused on, on how she got these powers. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, um, who's, does it, have they revealed like a villain? I, I no. Yes, the they did. Who's the well, villain? they just at show. the end of it, you the, everything goes purple and you see a pair of hands clapping. Yeah. Oh. So it looks like uh, it could be Kilgrave or the Purple Man, mm-hmm. 
or it could be like somebody's in her mind again and she's dreaming about the purple man. It could be a dream sequence. Yeah, it could be anything. But Who knows? Maybe he's in her mind now. It could be. Yeah. Just like the whole Joker and Batman. Ah, let's see. There's another reference. Take another shot. <laughs> Take another shot, guys. <laughs> Kool-Aid. Arkham Knight. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm. I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually kind of excited. I mean, I'm, I'm, really... I'll watch it. I'm definitely gonna watch it. I, I mean, agree. I will. I'll, uh, watch, I'll watch it. I'm, I'm. I think I'd be more excited to watch. Uh, there's nothing wrong with Jessica Jones, but Luke Cage was, was like a yeah. Luke watch. Cage. Was, yeah. But are are they not doing a second season of Luke Cage? I thought I heard that they weren't. I think do what that. they're doing right now is that they're actually waiting to see what show's taking off. Yeah. Because I think they already slotted like Punisher season two yeah, before Punisher anything else. Yeah, Punisher season two is already. So, there. but I'm like, I'm still waiting for Daredevil. Season and Daredevil three. season three, yeah, there's. Yeah. So, be that. but I think for some reason I would have wanted to have seen uh, Luke Cage before Jessica Jones. But then again, maybe it just has to do with the timeline of things. That's you know, true. maybe they, they do say pretty. Cons- they yeah, kinda, you kind of got to make sure you. Because know if you at. watch, if you guys pay close attention to every single season, if you watch it chronologically in the way it was released, um, each season. Picks up from something that happened in the, yeah. in the other season. That no, yeah, 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 yeah. But know. I'm wondering if they're going to combine and do Heroes for Hire. That would be cool. Because yeah. I think that's the only way you can really save Iron Fist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Iron Fist was a hard pill to swallow on that one. But yeah. Heroes for Hire, I think, would so you, be great. Would you like to see them come together again in a Heroes for Hire movie? Or would you want to see them come together again in a Defenders 2? I want to see Defenders 2, but... I want them to come together at the Infinity War because it takes place know, in the right? same universe. Yeah. Why can't Why can't they be there? Yeah, I don't well, think they want to cross universes or whatever. I mean, you have all these shows. Get, they have the same universe. They, have to pay they talk them about the event money. in New York. That's too much money. They want to pay all that extra overtime. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even Agents of Shield is part yeah. of the same universe. That's true. And that's, that's true. kind of sad that they don't want to bring Coulson. Well, to, to, according to from what I've heard and read, is that. To the Avengers, Coulson's completely dead. Yeah. Because of the fact that that's the, what brought the team together. So it's kind of like if you take away that catalyst of, like, this is why we became a team is because he died. Right. Well, we don't really need to be a team anymore, which I don't think would well, happen. Well, broke but, up in Civil War anyway. Yeah, yeah so, see, what if But if he comes back in the Infinity War and dies again... Yeah. The so, team. So, here's, <laughs> so here's another hope I have. Write this down. In case it happens, you'll know that I said it first. If in the second Infinity War movie... I would like to see Coulson come back to bring everybody together. That would be dope because then that would be a reason for him to come back to bring everybody back together. Yeah. You know, let's. I want to see all the Avengers get defeated in the first uh, Infinity War, and then the second one they bring in all these new characters, and Coulson comes back to to bring them all together. Well, can they really get defeated though? Because we got Ant Man and the Wasp coming out shortly after. So, it, it, but well, see, yeah, but we don't even know if he's going to be in. No, he is. He is. is, he is. He is. In the they're they're, they're going to be. He's, well. He might be. He'd be really, really tiny. <laughs> yeah, he was in the trailer. Yeah. Was not yeah, see him? No, but I know, I know, I know. He, I think if they filmed him in there, I think he's in there uh, mm-hmm. as far as like behind the scenes stuff. But I think the Ant Man and Wasp might be chronologically out of order with everything else. It seems from what I saw in the trailer, it looks like that's right after um, Scott Civil, Lang got Civil a, War, right? Yeah, got yeah. out of jail because he's got a bracelet. Remember we talked? Yeah, he has a bracelet on his ankle, so. I don't think the other stuff has actually happened yet. So well, I they, I mean, Marvel seems to know what they're doing with these movies, so everything always connects. Yeah. But not Even timeline though, wise, I think there's something messed up. Like they try to put the timeline together, but <clears throat> I think they may have messed up here and there. But, where? When? Um, uh, with Spider-Man: Homecoming, I think they said, "Oh, it's been a x amount of years that this happened," but that's around the same time that like something else is going on. Did they? Because it opens up with him. Because going to Civil War. Peter Parker was uh, he was the, um, they, the little boy in Iron Man too, yeah. wasn't he? So they had confirmed that he's actually the yeah. little boy in the Iron Man mask. Right. So has it been that long since? But he, yeah, exactly Iron from Man two and yeah, Hulk that Man. I've never looked. They up say to see. that when he was a kid, that was the whole New York thing. Like, well, that would place you at like five years old or something like that. So how are you, the teenager? But mm-hmm. you know, you were like five years old when you met Tony Stark, type deal. Yeah. But was he five? Maybe he was ten. He, didn't look like he was awfully small. Yeah, but he also had a that, helmet that, on. Pla- that plastic <laughs> helmet looked awfully big for his head. So, yeah, and, and it was the... a little kid. At ten years old, he was still small. <laughs> <laughs> he was beaten and picked on. His, his daddy wasn't very big either. <laughs> he doesn't. He, he wouldn't know that. Yeah, I know. That's why I just said it. Yeah, but not like Batman's parents. <laughs> ah, another shot. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm hoping you guys are going to get drunk. <laughs> if oh. not... Um, so you guys hear about this 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 podcast story thing that they're going to do with Wolverine? You just brought it up a little while ago. So then you did hear about it. Okay, cool. <laughs> I just, just recently. You just recently, like about... Super recently. Right before Mike, right before Mike came on. <laughs> you just said yes or no. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, thank you. So... Marvel's going to do this thing where they're going to do a podcast, and it's going to be like a serial where they're basically going to broadcast a story, um, and it's just on radio, just words, just like what you're hearing right now. And they're going to do the, this entire story on Wolverine. Um, it sounds pretty good. What you guys hear? So no, we far? we heard uh, like the was it a teaser trailer? Did yeah, I mean, or was it episode like a, one? It's like a snippet. I think, yeah, I think you what, know? based on what you showed us, I think it's yeah. gonna be really cool. I, I, um, I have a couple books downloaded on Audible. Uh, I downloaded it on Audible before the movie came out, cause right? Because I, I wanted to hear the story itself. And um, it depending on how it's read or, or you know who's doing the story, it it can really really immerse you in the universe. You can kind of put on some headphones, listen to it, and kind of just really just kind of fall into it. And it's actually going to require uh, the use of your imagination, which I think is. Something that's lacking nowadays. Yeah, you know, like now I you agree. have to create the picture in your head and right. what? see this. It's not a movie. No, yeah. it's not. Picture, it's not come movie. up with it. There's, yeah, just imagine it, and I guarantee you the story's going to be a hell of. That's why books are so great. But I mean, if you if you go back historically, you, you guys know the story of the original War of the Worlds. Yes. So for it those created of you, a panic. Right. So for those of you who who don't know, when War of the Worlds first came out, it was uh, who was the guy that read it? Uh, 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 Rosebud. I'm trying to remember his name. Yeah, famous uh, actor director. Shatner. No, <laughs> he said Rosebud. <laughs> Rosebud is. Uh... We'll, we'll we'll get that for you. Well, anyways, he he did this uh, story of War of the Worlds on the radio. So no pictures or anything like that, just voice, and they did the entire thing on on the radio. But uh -huh. the problem was that since they did this uh, invasion on the radio, some people would they tuned in somewhere near the middle actually believed that we mm -hmm. were being invaded by aliens. Yeah, people were freaking out. And yeah, people started freaking out. They, it caused a panic. And they're in the, in the radio studio you know, doing this broadcast, not knowing that there's people outside running freaking around, out. yeah, just, just going nuts, thinking that they're <laughs> being invaded. And it, it was on the news. It was like a whole big thing. They had to announce, you know, like I say, I'm sorry, and this and that to the public on the radio. It was really big. So if this uh, if this new Wolverine, The Long Night, is done right, I mean, I think people are gonna love it. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be really good. It's just like just it's like you were saying, Juski. I mean, just like a, a books on you know. Tape. Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I, I have Audible. It was never uh, downloaded with the books. Going back, it's Orson Welles. Orson Welles. That's Orson right. Welles, yeah. the original one. He's uh, Orson Welles did it. So the original, yeah, and people were freaking out, and but that's how Batman and Superman and other serials right. got going, where it was like Radio even. Shows. Either even yeah. if you guys are watching that was before uh, television, mm -hmm. a, uh, and, you know Christmas Story where he, the right. Ralphie was listening you know, to Little World of Annie. Yep. So that's yeah. exactly that's what I'm hoping, and hopefully that'll spawn a whole new genre. We could get decoder rings. Oh, that'd be dope. <laughs> yeah, you know that'd be it was decoder pins, decoder rings. If you guys yeah. want to send us some of that stuff, feel free. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, we'll take some. I want a decoder ring. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like that's um, a Dakota fanning ring. I'm not Dakota sure. Fanning. <laughs> to go to family. <laughs> I mean, do you know? Uh, so it's going to be on YouTube, right? Um, that's what I was looking to see. I don't think it's really said where it's coming out at. Well, you can hear the trailer on YouTube. Yeah, you can see. You can find the trailer on YouTube, or even on Marvel's uh, YouTube channel. So that look that that would sound pretty interesting. I was thinking to say look, but it sounded pretty. It's interesting. Worth a listen, everybody. Based on what we heard, what uh, characters would you want to see another serial based on? How about Batman? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go there. You know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Actually, I, wanna, I, I, I would want to see some of the classic ones, like like the Shadow or, or even the Phantom. The Shadow would be cool. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. The Phantom I, would be good. Yeah. yeah, I could dig the Phantom. Yeah. Maybe a couple but, Rorschach stories would be cool. Ooh, you know what? Rorschach would do really good. That's what I'm saying. You get a can... good voice actor on that. Yeah. Oh my god, that would be awesome. <laughs> but it might be a little too violent. That's the point. Yeah, well, just narration. Well, okay, but they, they can't they can't show you the violence, but you can right. Hear but it. for today's time, I think awesome. it would work. I mean, you can't yeah. broadcast broadcast that on FM radio, but anything I mean, goes on uh, social media. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think the detective uh, like 
Again, my favorite well, is yeah, the any, question. You anything know. like the detective story would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have anything else? That's, anything else that you could think of? I'm trying to think of how, again, The Shadow would probably be a good one. I don't, think, the, I don't, I don't think any any major superhero with powers and stuff like that would really come off too well. I think more uh, detective stylized type yeah. of heroes would be better. Dick Tracy? Because you can yeah. something, something, something that kind of yeah. has a slower pace that you can kind of describe. You know, they exactly. walk into a room, you can describe the you know, yeah. everything. Something like that would be. Yeah, like a Warshak. Again, he's the yeah, one that exactly. did his Warshak journal and he would just. You maybe even a Punisher word journal. That would be cool too. Yeah, that would work. Because mm-hmm. I, I remember that was a different that was a different storyline. Punisher War Journal, which was just like his missions that he went on. Yeah, that I'd would work. I'd listen to that. I'd super listen to that. Gotham, Gotham Gaslight. Gotham by Gaslight. Oh, man. You gotta watch that. So you guys watch that? No, I haven't I seen it yet. No. That. Next time, next episode. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> um. Something I want to bring up is, uh, what is this, the new Krypton? You guys? You guys I've heard of it. I mean, we talked about it also, and, and, and I've, I'm not sure, I'm still on the fence about it. I mean. I don't know. I've seen one trailer, like, a, like maybe a week and a half ago, and I kind of. It's still the, you know, it's Kal-El's grandfather he never met. So, I mean, unless, and I know somebody from the f- future goes to visit him on Krypton, it's just who is it? Is, yeah. was hard to say. I'm mean, like, is it Jimmy Olsen? Is it Booster Gold? Is it just a random stranger that said, happens to be a huge Superman fan? Uh, can, can, can't Doctor Fate travel through time too? Or can yeah, he? but so could. No, well, it could be the Phantom Stranger. The Stranger. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Like I said, I'm just curious to see who's that person from the future. Doctor Manhattan. Hmm. Mm. No, they're supposed to do a HBO series with uh, the Watchmen, aren't they? I, I, I yeah. This one I, I read. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that one's in the works too. So, That'll be interesting. I'd like to see. I'd like to see a comedian in action. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah but I think they're awesome. still writing that and still trying to get the producers and whatnot behind the scenes on that one. It'd be interesting to see who who the what actors they get to play those characters. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I wonder how that. I wonder how that series will go. I wonder how it'll last, but now it's got HBO backing, so it's Watchmen. I mean, yeah, it's darker. But but anyways, with with the the new the new Krypton, um, me personally, I think it looks really good. I mean, it's it obviously looks like it's got a bigger budget than you know, say Smallville. Yeah. Because even when Smallville came out, I mean, that wasn't they didn't have a whole lot of money for that one either, so. They spent their money, you know, on the, the little bit of special effects that they needed to get yeah. the story. Smallville across. was a great show, but should have ended a lot sooner. As soon as they left Kansas. Oh yeah, you know. Yeah, they they, they delved into too many uh, characters that shouldn't have been showing up in Smallville. I mean, I, I appreciate the fact that they threw in like, okay, well, the reason is because of the you know radiation from kryptonite mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> that caused all these metahumans. But as soon as like, all right, well now. We have to leave the farm, and now we're living in Metropolis. Then you should right. stop the show right then and there, because that's the journey of becoming Superman. Right. Mm-hmm. And this was a story of Clark Kent in Smallville Small growing up. That's the name of the show. Yeah. So hopefully they don't do that with this show. Is like have it dragged down. Or whatever the case well, is. if they're starting with Kala's grandfather, then they can drag it through two generations. That's true. You know that might have been the whole reason why they're starting off with him. So that way they're like, okay. If, even if this character doesn't work out very well, we'll kill him well, off and go I, with Jorah. <laughs> I think I think the issue that I have is with the Krypton itself. There's no really, with the exception of the Bottle City of Kandor, mm. there's no really attachment for me. True. With because the destruction of Krypton is what brought Superman. Yeah. So, so I mean, I know they are working on Metropolis as well, which is does have some kind of tie to Superman and the same thing with. Mm-hmm. Gotham. I think that's why Gotham works because he Gotham the Gotham City is part of the mythos of Batman. Mm-hmm. So, and I think with with um, Krypton, well, I mean they've done short stories, but nothing for me to be like, oh, well, this is a civilization of how we lived, and this is how we are, and this is who we are as a society. Right. For me to be like, oh, okay, I'm invested. Where it's kind of like with yeah. Gotham City or Metropolis, it's kind of like the people there. You know, LexCorp, you have, you know, 
Uh, I, I, and I get exactly where you're coming from. But the cool thing about doing this this Krypton TV show is that you're going to be dealing with a bunch of characters that people don't really know anything about. Mm -hmm. You can create new characters and things like that. You can show origins to like uh, Kara. Yeah, Kara I mean, you, show origins you could for Zod. do origins for everybody. And there's a book that I read uh, quite a while back called uh, The Last Days of Krypton. And in that book was basically a story of Jor-El and him dealing with uh, Zod mm -hmm. and in that story they were actually kind of like best friends yeah they were I mean there's always been and it's it's thing. it's a great great book and I was actually kind of like wasn't sure about it myself too because I was like okay I don't know how what this is gonna go like or whatever but it was actually a really great story what's the book called again last days of krypton last days of krypton. yeah it's a really really good read if any of you guys yeah if any of you guys want to check it out audible. check it out let me know see what you think but um I was kind of the same way where I was kind of like, you know, I don't know if, you know, like that's why were, like, Smallville. Really my interest that's why, like Smallville, I was really interested because it's kind of like, oh, well, this is where he grew up. Yeah. I get right. it. You know, this is, the you beginnings know, the beginnings of it. Yeah. And they did it very well. It's kind of like, all right, he was going through puberty. It's kind of like he was developing different powers and mm -hmm. it was, happened. So uh, that's what it worked. As far as like me finding about, uh, you know, his grandfather he never met, maybe in Crystals. but. All right. You know, I'm just curious to see. I mean, I'm going to watch it regardless, but... Yeah. <laughs> you got to watch it. Mm -hmm. And with that, I think we're uh, we're pretty much done with this episode. Episode four. Yep, episode four, four. Four is a wrap. And, Let uh, us know what you think about all the trailers, about the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We'd love to hear opinions. Comments. Also, yes. if you guys uh, have anything you want us to touch on as far as uh, topics... Uh, characters you guys want to know about feel free to reach out to us and we'll do some of the research and look it all up yeah most definitely and make sure to uh you know subscribe to our youtube channel and uh hit that little bell so that we get notifications when our new episodes get uh, come come uploaded and uh stay tuned because we're going to be doing some more some more really cool stuff with these movies are going to be going coming out black panther yeah black Panther's Black Panther's coming, coming out, really out. Soon. we just talked about deadpool's coming out pretty soon yeah. Uh, Infinity War. So, if there's anything you guys want to check out uh, as far as movies, stories, books are concerned, feel free to let us know uh, what we should look out for. Or if you guys have any heroes you guys want to learn on, uh, let us know. We'll see what we could find for you guys. Yeah, most definitely. With that, you guys have a good time, and we'll see you again. Bye. Bye.